Charge attack. Can't make it to it. Okay. I didn't think so, but yeah. Plus a zero. I didn't. Oh, I did give you a bow. So oh, he switched weapons. So we'll go for the big guy. Oh, you're still in defensive stance. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> Okay, I thought she, he, I thought he just threw that at my barb. No! Good, eat it. Hey, get away from the old man! Or, you know, I was just missed, that's cool. Might evil searing light. Does this even do anything for me? And bonus one saving throws against becoming blinded or dazzled. Fair enough. Just always keep that on. Cool. Lay on hands. Okay. We're just gonna have to wreck them. And move up. There we go. Any last Attack. Wishes? Boom. Goodbye, big boy. Oh, um. I mean, you'll move up, but we'll keep you in the back. How did you miss that bad? Honestly. Like, what did you do? Um. Oh. Because I still have her in that stance? What in the world just happened there? Ooh, that guy's not looking good. How many archers are there? They just have multi attack. Jeez. Okay. Go over here. Switch to that. And you're out of... Powers, good aid. Okay. Um. I think I just... I might have messed up there. Hurting the rest of us, please. So is he like dead, dead? Is 
not work on the corpses? Guess not. Okay, so he is actually like dead. Oh, well, that's cruddy. Didn't even get to put my lay on hands in. We deserved it. Um charge. Oh good, he's not dead dead. That's got what you deserved. Now they'll know better to treat honest people like cattle. And our Bach in here taught them a thing or two as well. Now, my lord, head on up to the guest rooms to the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. This is for your efforts. Ooh, 100 gold. Why, thank you. Now don't offend me by trying to turn it down. Just take it. Honest fight deserves an honest reward. Be more common practice in this world. If that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be much better. I well, thank you, good sir. I accept this. I would also like to trade, but we'll deal with that later. I'm not going to take anything from inside. That just seems... Okay, maybe. Just not my lucky day. Oh, it's locked. Can't pick locks. Okay. Hateful I mean, that's fine. See, it just says collect. I don't know if I'm stealing this stuff. Whoa, werewolf? Mine. Go to sleep. Wake up from your nasty dream that tortured you almost all night long. Unnaturally thick fog surrounded you. Slowly moving closer and closer. Look. Look. <coughs> out the window. And you find out that the fog is not a figment of your imagination, not a dream of them. With such a beautiful sight. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A secret guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. I'm... Not sure I want to do that. I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. You seem so tender. You can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. What would you have? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Sad Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. 
and not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil of these winds. My forest and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. How can I help? This fog that enshrouds the entangled suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. My powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house, and it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandit's camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there. And listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. So, Stag Lord, is responsible. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. While responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. All right. Very well. I don't believe in fate, stranger, but our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Adventures await. <laughs> March on. Oh, personal staff. Summons a pet red panda. So this is stuff that I got. Okay. So I'm not wrong in taking this stuff. Good. That's that's still locked. Okay. Is everyone downstairs? Well, first off. Constitution and resistance. Okay. Cool. I have anything else? Just that? Alright. No big deal, no big deal. Whoa! Cloak of Resistance. We're putting that on. Oh yeah. Graphics are kind of cheesy, but hey, whatever. Uh, cast Bless Spell. Three times a day. First level cleric. Well, I'm not a cleric, so... Yeah. All right. I already did that stuff. Nothing else there. Cool. How do I use this menu here? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Go backpack on or off. What backpack? If I did. Okay. I guess I can change colors just like that. That's cool. Tax 
much, right? Tell me about it. Tell me about that book you're writing. With the ring you always wear on your finger. Oh, no, don't leave, make her leave. Rude. <laughs> um, yeah, what's the deal with the ring? How about this? It was a gift from my first teacher. Magical. Viewed with the powers of Shelin. No less. Uh, when I get myself into trouble, it transports me to a safe spot. Oh, that's nice. Come from Pateks? Uh, Pitax? Uh, <laughs> oh, I love Pitax, even though they kicked me out. Joyful place. Um, yeah, let's play flight. Actually, Pitax has always been one huge nest of thieves, bandits, river pirates, smugglers, fences, card sharp. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's always been home for the likes of them. But that was before Iravedi came. Or became king. With him, a whole different life began there. Iravedi always wanted to make history. But now he's another bandit with the crown. So that's exactly what he is. He wanted to be glorified through <coughs> the centuries. As a great patron of, his, uh, of the arts, so he built the Academy of the Grand Arts. Spent lots of gold to assemble the best artists, poets, and munitions. Uh, musicians, munitions? Huh. Of course, <laughs> the very best ones refused to go. But he got what he wanted anyway. What do you know of King? Tell me more about. Academy. And jokes aside, I'm thankful to Irivedi for building it. But he has no taste at all. Whatsoever. He likes his art loud, bright, grandiose. And most importantly, glorifying his royal highness. He kicked me out. Or he kicked out the best charcoal artist. Because he didn't wish to spend money on gray scribbles. Oh, he sacked a masterful flute player from Tian Zai. Zia, something like that. For playing too quietly. And instead of ordered them to be a kettle drum class. Open a kettle drum class. Okay. <laughs> he even he even ordered the academy to expel me and for what an incident an innocent limerick i can't even read apparently would you like to go back to the academy and finish your studies i'd like to return but on one condition they threw out three quarters of the professors who teach there now and returned all the ones they banished. If you ask me, I'm proud of, to have been expelled. If my art was to Irovetti's liking, then I would have no reason to be ashamed. Or, then I would have reason to be ashamed. Fair enough. Uh, I have to go. Don't leave without me. Of course, I could write whatever you tell me, but if I wanted to stay cooped up in a dusty room, I'd still be sleeping through Lecter's Academy. Not the Academy. Okay. Fair enough. Eight eyes. Uh, hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking... Your fortune in the stolen lands. You aren't look er, 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 You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves 
your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Who are you? An Oriel, eight eyes. Once upon a time, I was famous for throughout Abs uh, Absalom. Absalom. Okay. Absalom. Anyways, an Oriel of Reckless Six. My own glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, and no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. Um, do you... Oh, where were you when the trading post was attacked? Would you like to join me? Uh, no. I've got things to do already. You better manage your own. Okay. Name is Pathfinder. You're in the middle of nowhere. Why? You must know how one could exchange a life for a, of a Pathfinder for this sorry drunken rat hole. You lose all your friends because one scumbag, and then you'll understand. I was the only one to return from the final campaign of the Reckless Six, and whatever is left of me can't be called a secret anymore. Here's the story. Our leader, Vermelt, was the best of us. Wise, brave, friends with everyone. One of those friends, Adivion, sent him to or er, sent him a disturbing letter he'd stumbled upon mention of some ancient books on the art of necromancy secrets like those are best left hidden forever trust me i've seen what kind of magic that <laughs> seen what that kind of magic can do <sighs> to make a long story short it's already gone on long enough <laughs> these volumes were supposedly hidden in the catacombs of the gallows spire. We decided that the books should be retrieved and kept safe by the society. We gathered in a tavern, discussed the expedition, and proceeded to Ustilov. Or Ustilov, either way. It was a normal mission and quickly, er, a quick and quiet recovery. Then everything turned to be, turned out to be, holy. But then everything turned out to be much more complicated. We barely made it through the Witchgate Forest. All those terrible living trees, undead druids and their arches of bones. It was a miracle we managed to make it out alive. We've chosen... Renchurch to stop at. It was marked on the on Vermelt's map as a safe enough haven to hole up in and lick our wounds. How I wish that had been true. Vermelt was the first to perish. He was attacked by one of the monsters hiding in the stables. It tossed him through the. It tossed him about like a feather and threw him down an ancient well. His shout echoes for a long time, and I didn't hear the sound of him landing. And then. Enough. I shouldn't have gotten into this. Who am I to stir up your feelings with all my chatter? We'd better forget about it for now. Maybe I'll tell you more some other time, but not today. What are you doing here? Sure. I was hunting. Got a little lost in the mist. Which is the first time that's happened to me. Guess I should go easier on the drink. 
But don't you imagine I'd be scared of a uh, good fight? But don't you imagine I'd be scared of a good fight? It's not a question. Yeah. If only I'd known I was missing all the action. But I see you've got everything under control. Yes. Alright. We're good. Hot potatoes! Come here, bless yourself. Bad lord. What did you want to ask me? This is a very personal request. And not important enough for your time. I'll completely understand if you say no. But the first time the stag lord's thugs came here demanding money, they also took my wedding ring. Oh! Hell no! Pour it off my hand. Trinket, really. It's meant. Uh, it means so much to me. I remember every moment of the day Oleg came to me, that ring in hand, to ask if I'd marry him. I was standing in a fancy dress on the stairs of my father's home, fearing that I'd misheard something, or that I'd say something stupid and everyone around would laugh. You happen to find my ring among the bandit's possessions. Please bring it back to me. It's easy to recognize. My name is engraved inside of the band. Uh, there is one more thing among the bandits. There's a dark-haired woman who wields dual axes. She's not bad in a fight. In fact, she can be extremely dangerous and cruel. So please, I beg you. Show her mercy if you have the chance. Okay, we'll have to try and remember that. I'd be happy to. So grateful for your help. Uh, tell me about yourself. Very good. Alright, must go. No stopping now. Where did our barbarian friend go? Greetings. Those villains' feathers. Well, anyway, new day. Um, yeah, let me see what you've got. You know, I'm actually just trying to sell things. What? Sell? What is going on? It's freaking out here. Oh, I've got a few of these bows. Okay. Oh, did I not change her crossbow out? Oh, they're dead. I mean, yeah, just as good as sell all of this stuff. I'm glad he has an endless pocket. Uh, we don't have a cleric yet. That's just a. Yeah. No, I'm not giving you my pets. I mean, these are actually yours, so. Oh. Jasper. <clears throat> okay, now we have 900 gold. Camping supplies and rations. Two handed. You see that? Two and twelve. Wait. Hold on. Compare. I tire of waiting. There is no greater satisfaction than overcoming a challenge. That is, of course, until one day the challenge overcomes you. All right. Let us again compare. There we go, 212. Oh, the critical. Okay. Oh, but this one gets a critical hit on 19 or 20? Or that's the damage. Times two. Uh... Hmm. 
was just using it as a computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. to work great sword. Wielding it provides a plus one enhancement bonus to the weapon. So yeah, we'll take that then. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I didn't equip her heavy. Uh, now, do we want the cat or the red pant? I want the cat. I just equipped it. Where did I equip it? Action bar. Hold position. Oh. Dog. 